As you can see by the title, we finna be talking about a book series. And a book series that I'm really, really excited about because book four just came out a couple days ago. Um, I've already filmed a video about the For Blood and Ash series last year, but it got deleted. And so I'm gonna have to refilm it. But this is gonna be a series on my channel and I'm gonna be your friendly neighborhood smart dealer because I got all of the sauce. So if there's any books that you want me to read, put it in the description. If I've already read it, it's probably gonna be a video on my channel at some point. So, um, yeah, just look out for that. But I have a little mini rant. I have a little mini rant and it's probably gonna take up a good chunk of this video. So let me just give y'all a brief synopsis of the people who have not read the book or you plan on reading it. If you like uh, Enemies to Lovers, this is for you. This whole series is for you. If you like heavy story, not just this is for you. Um, if you like really tall, dark haired men that will burn the whole world for their girl, this is for you. If you like uh, shelter girl turned mad bad bitch, this is for you. Um, if you like supportive man who is feared by everyone, but he killing shit with his girl, this is for you. Uh, what else? Fantasy, this is for you. This is very, this is fantasy, you know. So yeah, I think vampires, this is for you. This was my first fantasy book. Not like in life, but my first like intentionally reading a book that I know is fantasy and because I'm not really like I'm not against fantasy but you know like the fantasy I like is like shit like based off like mythology or like shit like that I'm not really a let me see some fucking wolves and, and vampire type shit like I'm not that kind of girl I was not into Twilight like that but yeah so <laughs> I didn't know what was going on but yeah it's not like a cliche wolf vampire type thing. This is a really, really good, present, nicely presented story. Um, but anyways, I have a rant. So I'm probably going to do a little marker here. I have a rant about Goodreads, okay? Because I didn't make a Goodreads account until last year because I didn't know it existed. <laughs> and my best friend was like, oh, yeah, just get on Goodreads. Nobody on Goodreads has any brain cells. I'm so sorry to tell you. If you're going on Goodreads for genuine reviews on books or whether you should or should not read a book on, don't do that. Because Goodreads is like Yelp. And the book Karens are so serious and they're so heavy on Goodreads. It's so fucking annoying. Listen, book four of For Blood and Ash came out a couple of days ago. I found out because I got an email from Goodreads. The book didn't even have a cover on there yet. And bitches had ha had one star reviews of a book that wasn't out and a book that didn't even have a cover. They had this shit waiting. They had their negative comments waiting since December of last year. What be wrong with y'all? What be wrong with y'all? Because, see, the thing is, it's like, I've read so many comments on Goodreads because I didn't know how it worked. I was just like, let me just go see what they say about this book that I read. Cause I was plugging in all the books I read and I was reading the comments. Y'all, let's say I don't like pork chops, right? I'm not going to go to a restaurant, order some pork chops and then give them a bad review because I don't like pork chops. You get what I'm saying? Bitches will go on good reads knowing they don't like enemies to lovers. They will know that they hate that trope. They don't like the idea. They don't fuck with it. Why are you leaving a negative review on a book that's enemies to lovers if you know you don't like enemies to lovers? They have a synopsis of the book right there. Just read the synopsis and be like, oh yeah, this is one of those. I don't want to read it. I don't like harems and I don't like sci-fi. So if I read a description that says sci-fi, space, shit like that, I'm not going to read it because I know I'm not going to like it. So why are you going on these pages leaving one star reviews for some shit you know you don't like not only that imagine you go to a restaurant the food is amazing you love the food but the waiter 
or had a little bit of an attitude or they didn't give you enough napkins or when you took your takeout, they forgot to give you a fork or a knife. Imagine going on Yelp and giving them two to three stars or one star because you didn't like one thing about it, but you liked the story. This is what people do on Goodreads. They'll be like, oh, I love the story. This is my favorite part. Da, da, da. But he said this and I didn't like it. So one star. How does that make sense? How does that make sense? So with that being said, don't be listening to the book Karens on Goodreads. And I'm going to get into the, the criticisms they had about the first. I don't even know. I don't know if it was the first book, the second book, the third book. But I'm going to get into the common discrepancies, the things that people didn't like about it. And we're going to talk about it. So rant over no brain cells like bitches on goodreads got one good marble floating and bouncing in their head and that's it so anyways and, oh and if you're one of those people that actually leave uh constructive criticism or you leave good reviews and you actually give details and explain everything love that for you you are doing the lord's work and i appreciate you because there's definitely been times where i've seen a really long detailed review and it's really helped me decide whether or not i want to read a book i love that so if you're one of those people i'm not talking about you i love you and i hope your skin is clear but to the rest of y'all that just be being petty and annoying on there don't do that no more okay because it's unnecessary anyways so 